most of our remains incomplete uh, human remains. So ni ada ha? daging, some mix with uh, bone fragment, some just uh, uh, bone fragment. The task that was uh, given to us was to perform post-mortem examination on the victim. So the first day when we wanted to start work, when they opened the coffin, they realized that a very strong smell of formalin. Formalin is very toxic. Uh, so they have to stop work for that first day. Uh, the reason formalin was used, later we found that with good intention by the separatists who recovered the body to preserve the body, uh, used for preservative. But they just pour formalin. So day one, we have to stop work. And the next day, they managed to provide us with the proper attire, full face helmet with a special formalin filter and the full face uh, body suit. Not that it comfortable doing work because with all those uh, full face helmets, but, but we, for safety, all the team members uh, have to put on their attire. As compared to the other countries, our team was at par, not a bit better with some of the internationally divided team because our team is the only team that we bring along a sub-specialist, Dr. Zaini, who is specialised in forensic anthropology, uh, meaning bone, specialised in bone. Along the way, later, when they screen up front, the difficult one, I mean, those tiny, tiny fragments, human remains, they will divert to Malaysian team because they realize that Malaysian team we have advantage of forensic anthropology. Most of our remains are incomplete uh, human remains. So, I mean, what Daging, some mixed with uh, bone fragments, some just uh, uh, bone fragments. So, we describe, we measure, we photograph, we clean, and if too small, we did not take, say, for example, hair and so on, we will not take for DNA. Lah. I think they will put together and or bury in one side. Lah. The Dutch safety report on the injury of the pilot, crew member and passengers uh, as reported uh, somehow gives the impression that the most of the passengers and some of the crew members sustained injury due to the impact upon uh, crash. But from the description of the uh, injury sustained by the pilot and co-pilot looks like as a result of some sort of uh, blast injury. What we have known that because of the explosion of the uh, book missile from that description is consistent that exploded just uh, at the cockpit area. Muhammad Gaffa Abu Bakar is my secondary schoolmate. Uh, so when I found out that he was in that flight, I was hoping that our team uh, will not get his remains for me to examine because I would not know how I will react. Uh, Alhamdulillah, finally, uh, until the end, I feel that our team did not get the privilege of uh, examining his remains. Uh.